My name is Gary Moody. Um, I have uh, handed out to the board uh, and to the superintendent of public works uh, copies of the final order affirming the administrative law judge's order in the matter of the unlicensed practice of Todd Wilkerson. Um, attached is the order itself and which constitutes a uh, cease and desist order uh, based on his unlawful practice of engineering while employed by the city of Franklin and also using the title of engineer. Um, this uh, is a result of a complaint I made in uh, September of 2010, after which I filed a lawsuit over uh, his involvement in the city's paving project. Um, the lawsuit, which is still ongoing now for the uh, Supreme Court. Um, I asked the uh, mayor, current mayor, last year uh, to fire Mr. Wilkerson uh, promptly on taking office. Uh, because of this. And now this order has been issued, and Mr. Wilkinson is still employed by the city of Franklin. I'm here today to ask the Board of Works to fire Mr. Wilkerson right now. Um, Any further? I uh, asked you to fire Mr. Wilkerson. Is there any response? I'll give you a response. Wait. Um, we've had that conversation, Mr. Moody. He is no longer employed as the city engineer, director of engineering, or any other position such as that with the city. I made that decision in mid to late December to employ him under the Department of Public Works as a project inspector. That was my decision. That's my response. Go on, and why did you choose to still employ him? The question's been answered. Do you have any other well, I'm talking to the mayor, ma'am. Question. You're not elected, please. She's appointed by me. Yes. Mayor. She's a city attorney. <coughs> why, why, is, why else are you still employed? He's a wealth of knowledge. He has a vast understanding of projects that are going on within the city. He is a valuable employee for the city. That's why I continue to employ him. I look for people that are smart, intelligent, well-respected, and know what they're doing. He told me that he's still on the payroll because he is the only NDOT certified employee that the city has. Sure, yes, he is the only one. And he was designated by Fred Parrots when he revived the North Main Street project as the employee in responsible charge of that project as an NDOT certification. And if the city does not have an employee with that certification, then the city does not get that federal money. And that is the sole reason why you're still employing him. Despite his violations of the law, blatant violations of the law. Okay. I'll just say, I'll, let, me, let me just end it this way. <coughs> We voted for you because we thought there was going to be a change. This is one example of where you've gotten off on the wrong foot. And that is in Fred Paris's footsteps. Thank you. Any other announcements or presentations? Public comments? 